hello, this is a short video that shows how to make uh, pulse variability analysis on a PP, PPG signal. I mean, usually you do heart rate variability on an ECG signal because that is the, the proper way to, to, to measure the variability or the SA node pacemaker variability uh, to, to actually measure the, the RR intervals of the heart. Uh, even though, uh, I mean, you, you, you still get the same pulse in the finger with the PPG but the variability then will be influenced by like peripheral resistance and other things. So, so the pulse rate variability is not the same thing as heart rate variability. But nevertheless, you, you can do the analysis. And the purpose here is to show how to do the corresponding pulse rate variability on a PPG signal instead of an ECG signal using the same algorithm as you, you do for heart rate variability. Uh, and here I have a PPG signals uh, and here I see that it first I notice that the lowest value of the cycle I, I'm going to trigger here now on, on the uh, peaks so if I set something like 0 0.1 volts I will capture all the peaks so now, now what do I will do because the heart rate variability analysis I will show maybe sure uh, explain this first um, it has two options. There, there are different methods. That there's a spectral method and a time series method. But uh, I, I will focus on the spectral based heart rate var variability. And when you do this in Acknowledge, you have two options. You you use the QRS detector, which then automatically detects the peak of the ECG complex. But this, of course, does not work if you have a PPG signal. And then you need to work with events. And then you need first to create these events. And this is the first step. And then we do the use the find cycle um, method. And then I choose locate cycles from peaks. And I choose the PPG signals. And it's a, I choose an, an upward peak of the threshold of 0 0.1 volts. And I use a selection of around this peak from 0 0.1 and 100 milliseconds before and after so I capture I'm sure to capture the actual peak and then I choose to output here the, an, an event uh, at the maximum of the signal of the PPC P signal and I choose to output an event that is called short hour arrow this is just an arbitrary uh, event type. The important thing is to, to remember here what you are choosing because later in the heart rate variability analysis we will re remember what kind of event we are using and the output in the PPD channel. And then I do here find all cycles. So now you see what happens. Automatically now we have introduced an event at exactly at each peak and now these event markers is something we can use for the heart rate variability analysis. So this was easy. And then we just go there, the normal method. And here I choose instead of the QRS detector, which you would use for an actual ECG signal, you choose events. And the event type is we chose is short arrow, uh, which is, I mean, this is uh, just a, a label. Uh, it's located on the PPB PPG channel. Transform entire wave, and uh, yeah, we will just do it like this. And here is the results of the spectral-based heart rate variability analysis. We we get the power density or the, or the power in the various frequency bands, which then correlates with the sympathetic and parasympathetic activity, like like usual. This is the same analysis that you do for ECG, but this is how to do it for a PPG signal. So you can do it, no problem, but it's important to note that the PPG variability is different from the actual variability of the SA node, which is usually what you, what you mean with heart rate v variability. Um, so that's uh, one thing. And then if you also want to do 
like a basic RSA analysis. And the RSA analysis is, is I mean, for each breathing cycle, you have the difference between the maximum and the minimum RR interval. That's the uh, RSA uh, index, so to speak, and you get one, one value before each respiratory cycle. And there are, in the latest technology, there are routines for this, but these expect an actual ECG signal. You cannot do it for a PPG uh, signal, so you cannot use the built-in routines. So, so then you do need to do it manually, and here I would show a simple way to do it. What I want to do is loop through the respiration signal for each respiration cycle. I want the maximum and the mi minus the minimum of the PPG signal. And here I've defined these measures. The maximum R interval is 1.08 seconds, and here it's the minimum is uh, 0 0.92 seconds and here I defined a calculate channel which is uh, column 1 which is here uh, minus column 2 so this is the difference and now we, we, we can loop again and also I, I have here the RR interval which is just, was just the rate signal of the PPG uh, and this will, will then work on the RR signal so let's try this. How to do this? Find cycle, and this time I look for uh, respiration peaks. Uh, the threshold is um, something. So now you you see a preview here of all the peaks. So this threshold you just adapt to like whatever the offset is of the respiration signal. And uh, now this is, seems fine, and the selection is then uh, from the current peak to uh, well, the, the current peak to the previous peak. That, that's the correct. So you loop through each uh, respiration cycle, and then what do I want to do? I want to. Uh, display measurements values as channels in a graph or I can output it directly to Excel that's a matter of choice what you how do we want to deal with the data and also I would take away this output events these are general features of the cycle detector which is a core tool in acknowledge so once you learn how to use the cycle detectors there are many things you can do that are otherwise well, you have to do manually, which doesn't make sense. For example, you can loop through the signals and perform the same same thing for each cycle. Um, so let's just do this and see what happens. Final cycles. And now we will get three new channels, which corresponds to these three measures. And this is the interesting measure. So I will take away that one and that one, and we will see what what we got here if now I'll calculate what well, that was the one okay it was uh, also zoomed out now it's auto scaled so of course in the beginning here you get some some problem because the rate function is not defined for the first beat but on here here, blown here. This I can choose value here. This is the RSA index for each um, breathing uh, cycle based on the PPG signals, which is again not necessarily exactly identical to the one you get if you you work from from an ECG signal. But okay, that was short video on how to do this RSA and heart rate variability analysis on a PPG signal uh, which you you can do as long as you you don't confuse it and or and, and com compare it in absolute terms with actual heart rate variability uh, um, based on a real ECG signal okay bye